This is the Helping Hand TV show with me, the voice of ability and a for persons with disability. My mandate is to prove that disability indeed is not inability. So walk, walk me through it. When you were called up for the gold medal, it was full of tears of joy. When I look at where I started, my goodness, and now God has brought me to this extent, my goodness. representing Ghana with a gold medal. My goodness. I thank God. Six months, you sleep and you wake up and most of the black in your eye is gone and your, all your eyes are white. Any able person out there who has the means, they should join hands to support someone like you because you are a voice for the voice. <laughs> like I say, you are welcome. Welcome to my world where disability is not inability. Hello and welcome to another exciting and inspiring edition of the Helping Hand TV show. As you know, the Helping Hand is an initiative of the H4P organization where we seek to throw the spotlight on the abilities of persons with disability. And like I say, you are welcome. Welcome to my world where disability is not inability. You are with me, the voice of ability on air for persons with disability. Special thanks to Deviant Limited, Company Limited, our proud sponsors, SNR Company Limited, our proud sponsors. And special thanks to you for tuning in. I'll go for a quick commercial break. I'll be right back. Stay tuned. The Helping Hand TV show will be right back. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You are with me, the voice of ability on the air for persons with disability. And today, I want to introduce you to someone with so much ability. Some people call her the greatest friend. Others call her the sweet companion. And others still call her the faithful worker. Ah. She is dependable, reliable, and adorable. Ah. And she's committed to lending you a helping hand anytime, anywhere. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome DV Cleaners. Ah. DV Cleaners Alata Stamina Shower Gels. DV Cleaners Aloe Vera Shower Gels. DV Cleaners Body Lotions. DV Cleaners Hair Shampoo. DV Cleaners Hair Conditioners. DV Cleaners Liquid Detergents. DV Cleaners Toilet Cleaners. DV Cleaners Floor Cleaners. And DV Cleaners Cake Soups. For bulk purchases, call us on plus 233-278-308-246 or plus 233-244. 467 DV Cleaners, one of the top most made in Ghana products, proudly Ghanaian. And so remember that anytime you purchase any of the DV Cleaners range of products, you are lending a helping hand to a person with disability and you are supporting H4P organization's special advocacy for persons with disability. DV Cleaners! Nature's finest touch! Welcome back. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. This is the Helping Hand TV show with me, the voice of ability on air for persons with disability. And today we have another exciting edition for you. Wow. My guest is amazing and I know you are going to love him. Wow. His story is incredible. Wow. My guest to me is the exemplification of determination and inspiration. Wow. He began his journey in the disability world at the tender age of six months. Wow. He had to start his basic education at the age of 21. Wow. And in spite of all the vicissitudes that accosted him, he was able to breathe through it and go on to finish his university education. Wow. Um, My guest is a visually impaired man and a professional teacher. I think we have to hear the story from the horse's own mouth. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome my guest for today, Mr. Atto Forsen. Mr. Fossin, you are welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Sir. 
Thank you so much for your time. Um, in your CV, you are also known as Anklato. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. C can you tell me, um, where did that come from? Uh, okay, when I started the school, the moment I mentioned my name, then they, add, they added Uncle to it. <laughs> so it became Uncle Atu. Wow. Yes, that's, that's interesting. All. And, I, and I'm also interested for that. <laughs> I have an interest in yes. Thank you very much. Your first name is Epathras. Yes, please. What does it mean? Well, simple means the servant of God. Amazing. Amazing. Um, I hear Epathras, I hear Ato Fosin. Yes. Obviously, you're a fancy. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually the micro menu. Oh, yes. I, I normally don't ask my guests um, where they come from, their hometown, and all that. Oh, wow. But um, your story, we need to hear that one. So let me start with that. Um, where do you come from? Thank you. I, <laughs> I, I come from Komansi. Okay. Yeah. In the central region. In the central region. Um, you had to begin your basic level education at the age of 21. We'll come to that. Yeah. But six months, you sleep and you wake up and most of the black in your eye is gone and your, all your eyes are white. Yes. Please. Tell me about it. Oh, in fact, I didn't know about anything. But oh. my mother told me that that's what happened. Okay. Yeah, when I was six months. You just slept and woke up and that was it. Yes, please. Wonders they say would never end. Eh? <laughs> the other wonder in your story is that um, you didn't know anything about visual impairment. No. Your family didn't know anything about visual impairment. No, please. How is that possible? At all? How is that possible? Well, when I started growing up, mm. you know, the, the, the family, I did not see any visually impaired person in my hometown. Wow. So I thought I was the only one. So the whole community, you were also the only visually impaired person? Yes, by, by, by then. Wow. Yeah. How did that make you feel? Oh, as we were growing, mm. in, fact, uh, in all my life, I worked with the, with the seeing colleagues. Okay. So I didn't feel anything bad until, or maybe if we had some uh, misunderstanding and uh, people start teasing me about it. Your, your eyes is something. You are looking here and I'm looking here. You uh, <laughs> shouldn't be, be like this. <laughs> <laughs> and children can playfully tease you, right? Yeah, sure, sure. sure. <laughs> so that was when you began feeling that you are different? Yes, please. Did you ask your parents about it? Did you complain about it? Did you um, do something about it? Yes, I asked them. That's why they told me that that's what occurred. Okay. Mm -hmm. And as for the as for the uh, no no the the medicine, mm. we have <laughs> I would say we have toyed for a very long time. Wow. When it came, I, I learned they took me to Takra, the European Hospital. Okay. And other places, Agogo and Co. Mm. Yeah. And also some some you know some fetched. Priests also have taken some their the, the part. They have, they, have, they have taken their part. <laughs> their part. <laughs> All in search of solution. Yes, please. And yet it didn't work? No. So at, at what point did you begin accepting that um, this is it? Okay, when I was um, 12 years. Wow. Mm, but then we were doing a lot of things. And my senior brothers, normally they, don't want, they didn't want me to go with them. Okay. He said, no, I cannot go. So they will sack me or they will you know, leave me behind. And sometimes I will cry, you know, yeah. and so on and so forth. Because you are being left out. Yes, please. When you were young, um, what did you aspire to be? Well, initially, I thought um, I will be an engineer. Wow. Because by then, I was, I was able to you know, uh, fix things and, you know, destroying it and then removing it and so on and so on. So, I fidget a lot. So, at yes. was it that you were fixing or destroying? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but at least you could dismantle things. Yes, I dismantle and then fix it. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. 
so you had in mind to be an engineer, but here you are having um, a visual impairment. Yes. Um, that was going to be a very Herculean task. <laughs> but you still held on to that. Yes. One of the things that amazes me is the fact that um, nobody knew about visual impairment, so you did not start your schooling um, early. You, you had to wait till like 21 years before going to basic school. Not that I, I, want to, I wanted to wait for that. Okay. Now, I didn't get any, any information. Mm. It got to a time when one of my father's brothers um, came to my hometown okay. and told me that he would send me to school. Okay. So I was so happy. But then I was well, 16 years or so. Okay. Yeah. And later, uh, it didn't come on. You know. He disappointed you? Yes. I, I don't want to say that. That's why. I, <laughs> I, I have said it for you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but my, my, my surprise is that why would they just leave you like that? Because then you are growing and yes. you need to be educated. Sure. And nobody is interested. Why? Uh, well, as I was saying, you know, my hometown, that, that, by then, there was no, no visual impaired person. Mm. So I think they, they seem not, you know, uh, you know, any important that okay. I should go to school or so. You know. So obviously, at that time, you would even think that in the whole world, mm -hmm. you are the only visually impaired person. <laughs> yes. Yes. What happened in between that time? I'm, I'm aware you became a Christian at that time. Sure. And you were on fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that time, mm. uh, you know, when I was 14 years, we had a brother who was very good Christian. Okay. So he took us and taught us by how, how, how to read Bible, how to understand Bible, okay. you know, to be a proper Christian and so on and so forth. Okay. So by then, when I was 16 years, I was able to understand the Bible. Mm. I know the Bible and I quote the Bible. Meanwhile, I have not attended any school. Wow. Mm. Wow. So does it mean that somebody was reading it to you because you couldn't see? Yes. So somebody was reading it to you? Sure, my senior brother. And you were committing it into memory? Sure. You are intelligent, yes? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you, were, you were choosing to be um, the leader of a prayer group, I guess? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, um, uh, our youth, okay. youth fellowship, Methodist Youth Fellowship. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I was chosen as a prayer secretary. Mm. Yeah. And by then, God was using us, you know, a mysterious way. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I would say in a mysterious way because we did a lot for mm. Jesus. Mm. Mm. Let me find out from you. Um, here you are, um, you, you, you have an encounter with Jesus. You, sure. you are ministering to people. You are saving people. You are even praying and healing people. Sure. And you are visually impaired. Oh, sure. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> very, very interesting. Um, wouldn't you ask God a question? Uh, <laughs> I asked. Yes. It got to a time when I realized that things were going on. Mm. And uh, God was using us, you know, marvelously. Mm. I, one day put a chair, and I, I, I knelt down before the chair. As if I, God was sitting on the chair? As, yes, as he was sitting on the chair. You needed to Just I intentionally of... invited him wow. to sit on chair. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and ask him, God, why isn't that you are using me mm. you know, to heal people and so on and so forth? Mm. But why me? And yet you are not healed? Yes. What? And one day I had a dream. Good. I, people think that with the visual impact, we don't have dream. We have dreams. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that's interesting because, because we think visually impaired people can't see. Yes. We think they can't dream. Yes. Amazing. 
let, let, let me give a little education here. Go ahead. You know, Go ahead. We have five senses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sense of seeing, sense of touching, yeah. sense of smelling, smell. sense of seeing, and so on and Tasting. so forth. So if one gets spoiled, that doesn't mean all the rest are spoiled. Amazing. Are you getting it? Amazing. Uh, and so the mind is not working. Mm. If the mind works, you know, everything is okay. Incredible. And we should give thanks to God. Incredible. As he said. Okay, so Uncle Atta, I'm going to go on a quick commercial break. When I come back, I'm going to find out about your dream. Yes, please. <laughs> this is the Helping Hand TV show with me, the voice of ability on air for persons with disability. I have my very special guest, Uncle Atto, with me. I'll go for a quick commercial break. Still to come on the Helping Hand TV show. Yes, um, yum, yum. Oh, you want when me. Bibia ransom, yeah. Yes, um, yum, yeah. Oh, you want when me. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Welcome back to the Helping Hand TV show with me, the voice of ability on for persons with disability. I have my very special guest, Uncle Atu, with me. And just before we went on the break, Uncle Atu was going to break to us <laughs> his dream. When you called God to come and sit on the chair, <laughs> and you asked God a piece or two of your mind, <laughs> God visited you in a dream. Yes. Tell us that dream. Good. <laughs> yeah, as uh, you know, I asked him mm. some questions. Yeah. One day I had a dream that I have met a man mm. and, and he was asking me questions that do you know Paul whom he had the waist pains? Mm. And I told him that my grace is sufficient mm. for him. He also showed me um, Job. When he, he, he got, you know, into some difficulties yeah. for about 10 years, yeah. he also, you know, he, give, he gave me a lot of instances. Mm. The word that came from my mouth was, um, um, if then, then use me. Wow. Mm, as you like. Uh, use me. <laughs> so from that point... You stopped questioning God? Yes, 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 I've, I've stopped. And I didn't want to ask God any question again. Mm. Anything, I just, you know, raise a song. Mm. Like, like this song, uh, uh, Pastor Joby Chem's song. Okay. Uh, Inyo Bini Nature Wa this year. Like this part. Semenje ya jin jin yi jin Na man peran ko meni ma Me din damaro na reho akema she Jabi Semeni menye fini padu na man shishe bibi na maya medin damaro na disappointment achimari no way na mama me ida kusoro na ma bo mi nyami empire na ma kede iraze so mi mu na ma ba aha yes amazing amazing. Angela, so let's talk about the first time you went to school. Powerful. <laughs> <sighs> talk to me about it. Good. <laughs> I was there doing a lot of things. And uh, uh, let me give, you know, shout out to my, my, my Reverend Minister. He, she's now uh, very Reverend um, at the Tama Community 3. Okay. She's called uh, very Reverend Rosebud Ajaoto. Okay. She, she was in Kofodia and she was transferred to my hometown. Okay. So when she came there, she realized that no, the way, um, the way I was doing things, it, it would be good if I get an education. Mm. So one day I was there when she, you know, she called me and said, Kwame, they called me Kwame. Okay. Kwame, I've bought a form for you. I said, Oh, so I'm not me form. I'm not me form. And she said she has bought a form from School for the Blind. No, so I said, okay. Then um, I took it and filled it. But didn't it surprise you that there was a School for the Blind? Yeah, by then that I, I've heard it. You've heard, okay. Yes, by then I've heard it. Okay. But 
for somebody to take me there was a difficult task. Yeah. So yeah. I was there praying, praying, praying. Mm. Then uh, we filled the form in short. Okay. Then we didn't know that they've, they've res uh, they have resumed the school. Okay. So one day she went to Kofodia and just passed there. Mm. And she was told that the school was resumed for about uh, five weeks. Wow. And so, wow. And then we prepared ourselves. Mm? And we went there in 16th October um, 2000. Okay. So when we got there, the headmaster then said, I've grown up 21 years. So I should go to Brewa, close to Yamanasa. There's a vocational school there. Oh. Uh -huh. So I should go there and then um, learn, uh, learn some basket weaving and so on. I said, ah, if basket, I would have gone there for a very long time. Oh. I want to go far. Oh. So I was there praying, praying, praying. <laughs> And he's been calling um, some teachers. Others, others were saying they should take me to kindergarten. And even I've already decided that if kindergarten, I'll go. Wow. Mm -hmm. You so, were determined. Yes. And, and you know, the interesting thing is that our school motto is perseverance overcomes difficulties. I hear you. Wow. I hear you. Yes. <laughs> so I was there, and one teacher came there. And when they asked him, he said, OK. He's grown up, so let's send him to um, class three. Wow. And said, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> but the issue is, I don't want to go back. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I don't want to go back. So uh, I was so happy when he you know, said we should, I, should, I should be sent to class three. So I went there. Because that's better than kindergarten. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the following day, I went there. And you know, met a lot of you know students. Mm. Some are very younger than me. Mm. You know, I was also you know tall. <laughs> uh -huh, look at my stature. <laughs> <laughs> and when I went, the eh, yeah, the people be about. And everybody wants to know me. Mm. Hey. So uh, sometimes. I was confused. <laughs> that why is it that anybody want to, wants to know me? Mm. Well, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> and I was with uh, another elder lady okay. who was also there. So um, the lady and I were the seniors in the class. <laughs> <laughs> you, you elected yourself seniors. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> So we're there. Even some of the teachers were not, you know, believing that I can go far. Oh. So I was there. So they, they just, you know, accepted me or took me there so that yeah, it, it wouldn't be like uh, uh, they have disappointed me. Oh. So I was there. So they were just waiting for you to give up and go? Yes, please. Wow. They were monitoring me and so on wow. and so forth. So I was there, I was there, I was there. But a lot of miracles happened. One of them was the fact that um, you had to skip that one-year foundational thing they were doing. That would have made you stay there for long. Sure. Uh, yes. Uh, you know, the year 2000, we have rehabilitation center where if you are visually impaired, especially the late visually impaired, okay. you go there and learn how to write the Braille, mm. how, you know, Braille writing. Okay. You learn it for one year. Wow. So that after that, they would, they would know... Um, send you to classroom, the mainstream. Okay. But then that particular year, they stopped. Just when you went there? Yes. Incredible. They stopped. So wow. we, we, I learned everything. Even um, those we went to school on that year, we all learned from classroom. Wow. wow. Yes. So in three days' time, I was able to know A, B, C, D. Wow. Yes. And then, you know, gradually, gradually. I learned the contraction, the, the, the short, 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 you know, wet, and mm. so on and so forth. And in short. So tell me, tell me, the Braille, um, how easy is it to learn? It isn't easy. <laughs> <laughs> but with determination, you can do it. Mm. Uh -huh. If you have determined, you can do it with ease. Mm. But other than that, you find it difficult to learn. Because when you see it, or when you put your hand on it, it's like um, 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 Gary. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. But when you learn it, you know, you see, it's interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and by the grace of God, 
I've learned it and you know as I'm here, that's what I used you know, to even complete my university education. Amazing. As Bible says, with God, all things are possible. In mm. Luke chapter 1, verse 37, mm. you know, with Christ, we can do a lot of things. Mm. Mm? We can do, we do a lot of things with Christ. Said, uh, uh, I can do all things through, through Christ, Christ Jesus through who strengthens me. me. Yeah. Philippians 4, 13. Yeah. 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 Yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I am impressed um, with your knowledge in the scriptures. Wow. Um, some of us who read it ourselves, we can't keep it in our heads like this. <laughs> 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 but but let, let, let's talk about the, the day you completed school. Yes. Um, you would then have to move on yes. to the university. Yes. And that was another story on its own. Sure. Tell me about that story. Yes. You know, when I was in class five, I just told myself that, I'll go to University of Cape Coast. Wow. I don't know the reason why. Mm. I just said it just mm. like that. And, you know, in all my you know, years I spent there, mm. that was the bell that rings in my head, mm. that I'll go to University of Cape Coast. I didn't tell anybody anyway. When I go to SS, I was there. Because I didn't go to school early, mm. I thought I was the oldest person <laughs> in the world. So, so you were heading towards UCC? Yes. Then, I was no good in Form 1 in English. Okay. So, in Form 1, first term, I failed in English. Okay. Then, I decided that when I go to Form 3, I'll write Nobdeck before um, writing Wasi. Okay. So, when I wrote Nobdeck, I realized that it was okay for me to go to university. Mm. So, I told my brother that this is what has happened. Mm. So, um, he asked me, where will you go? And I said, I'll go to University of Cape Coast. Just like that. When I realized they have bought a form okay. and even failed it for me. Wow. And by the grace of God, I got the University of Cape Coast. Wow. And now here I am. <laughs> well, you are still with me, the voice of ability there for persons with disability. We are enjoying um, this amazing ride with my very special guest, Ato Fosin, a.k.a. Uncle Atu. I'll go for 60 seconds success and I'll be right back. Yeah. Stay tuned. The Helping Hand TV Show will be right back. Welcome to 60 Seconds Success with Apostle. Today, I want to share with you one of the most important decisions you can ever make to ensure a successful tomorrow. This is it. Your decision to excel and succeed in everything you are doing today. Yes, your decision to excel in your present engagement. You see, each and every one of us have something doing today. We are doing something presently. Even if we are doing nothing, we are doing something. Just that we need to do more than nothing. You see, the questions of the future are answered in today. Something presently holds the key to something great in the future. You need to realize that every time and every moment, has something in it. And when we decide to excel in today, we sow seeds of success tomorrow. If we are going to have a successful and comfortable tomorrow, we must have a hard working today. Something today must work hard for us so that we can excel and succeed and be satisfied tomorrow. <music> Welcome back. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, welcome back to the Helping Hand TV show. I have my very special guest with me, Ato Fosin, a pathras. <laughs> Ato, now we, we want to look at some very personal things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just speaking the wonders in your story. Wow. You lost your mom. Sure. So unfortunately. But um, you were determined to get married before your mother would be buried. Sure. Why? Uh, <laughs> well, you know, my mother has suffered for me. Mm. Yeah. So I was thinking that 
I could get a job before she would die. Yeah. But you know, God knows the best. Yeah. So the moment she died, uh, I realized that no. But then I was getting this lady. We're getting in touch, you know, uh, what we call dating. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the moment this happened, then I decided that no. If it is so, then let's, let's do it before the, 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 the mother will be buried. Wow. So, in course of time, oh. I took very bold decision. People were not agreeing with me. Definitely. But Definitely. I tried my best, and it was so successful. But why, why did you insist that you get married before your mother will be married? Yes, so that I will not get any bored or whatever. Because okay. I realized that if I don't do it, it will be difficult for me yeah. after we have buried my mom. Your mother played a very integral role in your upbringing. Sure. Very, very Tell sweet. me some of the sacrifices she had to undergo to make you become what you are. Yeah. You know, unfortunately, my mother did not you know, attend any school. Wow. But she had knowledge about school. Okay. So any of, our, any of her child, mm. you know, or who starts school, my mother doesn't joke with it at all. Wow. Uh -huh, because she knows that if we get somewhere, mm. she, you, um, she'll be, you know, you know, she'll be happy or yeah. she'll get relieved. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So, uh, even when I got an admission to the School for the Blind, she, she told my, my father, and my father, I didn't want to say that, but <laughs> <laughs> let's say it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> my father said he's going to think about it. And when he told his sisters, they told him that it means a blind person cannot go to school. So she didn't mind me, or so on and so forth. Wow. So my mother took all upon herself, wow. helping me here and there. Sometimes I, I wonder how the world would have been without mothers. Mothers, mothers are incredible. Um, sure. So your sure. mom went through all this. Um, unfortunately, she passed on. Sure. And um, you had to get somebody into your life. Let sure. me find out from you. How did you get that girl? <laughs> Very difficult one. <laughs> <laughs> of course, this one. <laughs> <laughs> we can say it in chambers. Right? I, hear <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Okay, well, let's, let's, let, let let's me. talk a bit about it. Yes. Um, you know... Uh, was it difficult? <laughs> you, said you, were, you, you said you were well, getting in touch. Well, well yes. <laughs> was you it know, difficult? As for, the, as for the date, nobody knew at that time. Okay. But to, when we decided to um, um, get married, okay. then... Uh, no, people go, people go to know up. about it. Mm. And you see a visually impaired person marrying um, a, sighted, a sighted person. You know, becomes very difficult because there were this intimidation or this perception that, mm. oh, now if the person cannot see, how can he you know, take, care of, take care of you and so on and so forth? Even to the extent that uh, my wife's grandmother you know, asked her a lot of questions. Wow. And, and in short, we're able to, you know. <laughs> yes, in short. In short. In short. In, in short. short. But, but I want to find out, um, how do you know, as a visually impaired person, mm -hmm. how do you know if a woman is tall, short, if a woman is beautiful, um, a, a, lit, a little less beautiful? Sure. Um, how do you know all that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh we use, you know. We, we, we feel the person, we touch the person and see, that's all. So you can tell how beautiful somebody is just by touching the person? Yes, please. Wow. wow. <laughs> that's amazing. Wow. Let's, let's talk about um, some of the discriminatory acts that um, most people have interviewed, especially visually impaired, sure. um, 
go through when it comes to the issue of love, um, it's been very, very terrible. Sure. Let's talk about that. What do you think about that? Oh, it's very serious, you know. Mm. Uh, let's say uh, um, my wife, for instance. Yeah. You know, the, as I was saying, when we we got in touch, or when people got to know that this this was going to going to happen, mm. you know, people started you know seeing a lot of things mm. that uh, he say you now. Oh, you know, a lot of men are here, and you are. Oh, very, very serious. And, <laughs> and, 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 um, and that can be painful when you hear it. Very, very, very. When, very, very what painful. Did you, what did you tell her when you hear some of those things? Even he, she encouraged me a lot. Wow. When it goes to, it, it go to a time. That, that, that's, that's good news. She yeah, encouraged it, you? Yes. It got to a time I, I, you know, I gave up. Wow. And I told her that, okay, if possible, then let's stop. Oh. And let's break everything and then move away. Because I don't want a situation whereby people will, you know, you know intimidate you and so on and so forth. You get difficulty in, in, in life. Oh. So let's break up. And said, no, I will not because when I met you, uh, I felt that I should marry you. Wow. Uh-huh. So by the grace of God, we are... We are on it. <laughs> I, 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 I like the fact that you are on it. Yes. <laughs> and she's very, very good. She is very, 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 very good to me. Wow. Yes. Wow. We thank God for her life. Sure. You know. <laughs> but the issue is that mm. they have, you know, people have perception that when you marry a sighted colleague, mm. all the children that you are going to bring up will be visually impaired. Mm. It's never true. Mm. Never and ever true. Mm. So it's, it's not hereditary. No, 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 no. No, at all. Th this is the kind of education that we seek to bring on the Helping Hand TV show. Sure. This is why we are helping the society um, so that we bridge the gap between the abled and the disabled. Sure. Um, because sometimes it becomes too burdensome. Mm. Some, some of the things people say um, when they meet a person with disability, mm -hmm. it can be so disheartening. Yeah. Sure. How do you deal with something like that? You know, the perception that I'm talking about, yeah. you know, people have this in, in their mind that even when they see you, when they come close to you, they you know the, 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 the disease, they said it, it's a um, disease, disease, so it will, it will affect them. My but it's not true. My As I'm sitting here, I can say that it's not true. My it's goodness. not a contagious um, disease. Mm. It's a it's a what um, impairment. Yeah. Mm? Yeah. It's not a disease as we always claim. Because mm. mm -hmm. it's part of your body which is caused, you know, which which causes uh, what damaged. Yeah. Yeah. And you can do everything. As I say, as I was saying that, um, unless the mind is you know is you know tortured. Yeah. You can do everything. And even to the workplaces where people are discriminating that, oh, these people, when you give him this work, the person cannot do because oh. simply means he is visually impaired. My God. But I'm telling you today that we have a lot of visually impaired who can do even more than the sighted colleagues. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. Mm. I need to hear your feedback on this issue. Um, it's time as a society we rise above all these discriminatory acts. Mm -hmm. Stigmatization has to stop. Yes. And it's time for the feedback segment of the Helping Hand TV show. I'll go for that break. I'll be right back. Stay yeah. tuned. Welcome to the feedback segment on the Helping Hand TV show. We appreciate comments you send on our social media platforms. The calls you make to us and mails we receive from you. We will do our best to address your concerns. Stay tuned. Feedback from Estanati, Amsterdam, Netherlands. God bless you, Bishop Dr. Charles Hackman, for this amazing program. There is serious ability in disability. Thank you for the powerful lesson in 60 seconds. That was incredible. We are getting the lessons. 
God bless Bishop Dr. Charles C. Hackman for sensitizing us on these issues. We are coming on board from all walks of life to support this great initiative. Feedback from Wrestling Smith, Water Region, Ghana. Wow, God is wonderful indeed. I am even short of words. Bishop, thank God for your life. For your guests, may the good Lord be your strength. This is very encouraging. You can send your comments or questions to our email, helpinghandshow at gmail.com. You can also send an SMS or WhatsApp message to plus 233-209-555-777. Or you can follow us on Facebook, The Helping Hand TV Show. One of the organizations of Mobile Helping Hand TV Show, um, Air Sorry Be a Friend of Wet Fire Generation Ministries. Um, Many normal leaders know Ekasai and Sayeba program also. Um, and they have good news for you. Um, they are willing to support. They are willing to support. <laughs> um, especially Akalano and like all the things you talked about. Um, Wet Fire Generation Ministries, Omosi um, Omgesumu, Ombebua, every now and then, whatever has to be done. They come in. H4P, we love to put smiles on the faces of persons with disability. At Fire City Chapel, we love to make you smile. At H4P, we love to wipe the tears of persons with disability. At Fire City Chapel, we love to give you experiences that will fill you with tears of joy. At H4P, we love to lend a helping hand to families of persons with disability. At Fire City Chapel, we love to help families grow in the grace and love of God. At age 4 p we love to empower children and young people with disability. At Fire City Chapel, we love to train children in the way they should go, so that when they grow, they will not depart from it. At age 4 p we love to give to persons with disability. At Fire City Chapel, we love to give. Surely, some things are meant to be together. Fire City Chapel stands together with H4P organization. Together we stand. Fire City Chapel and H4P bringing dignity to disability. Welcome back. Well, welcome back to the Helping Hand TV show. Thank you so much for all the feedback you send me. Um, I still have my very special guest, Uncle Lato, with me. Um, actually, let's, let's talk about your work. Um, you are a professional teacher. Yes, please. Um, how are you able to do it? Um, visually impaired, you are teaching students. Wow. And I know students are troublesome. Um, <laughs> I really need um, the scoop on that one. How, how are you doing it? Oh, well, sometimes it becomes difficult. Mm. Sometimes it's also easy. Mm. Where the children are not proving any, you know, uh, difficulty. Mm. You know, the issue is, uh, sometimes the, the seeing colleagues, they, they think you cannot see them. <laughs> so they misbehave a lot. Mm. And that's what becomes difficult. Mm. But when they are, you know, listening and then, okay. you know, sitting down quietly. Mm. I think we all chat and then and uh, we chat and then you know, discuss when it comes to you know lecture I will lecture them mm. when it comes for when it comes for discussion mm. we discuss and we do a lot of things mm. and and the board okay. I use board wow when I give them this thing uh, I will let one of the students mm. to write everything on board okay yes D do you face um, any resistance from the students? Do they um, discriminate against you? Do they make fun? When, you know, they think that you cannot see them. They make fun of they you? They make fun, sometimes. What about the, the, the teaching stuff? Um, do you have that cooperation you need or um, there's some resistance in that angle too? Oh, yes. I would say yes. You know, in one way or the other, you may find some you know, um, difficulties, but now I would say it's okay. Mm. It's okay. The issue of employment for um, persons with disability, especially visually impaired people, sure. is a big deal. A big deal. Yeah. So let's talk about that. How do we go around this um, unemployment thing? You see, 
it, it all, all boils into one thing okay. the perception. Okay. You know, now, only education fields that have taken some of the visual impaired yeah. you know, you know, yeah. graduates. Yeah. Yes. But at that field, they said they cannot do it and they use computer and so on and so forth. Yeah. But it's not an excuse anyway. Oh. It's not an excuse because we have a lot of um, visual impaired who can use you know, computer very, very much. But you know this thing with education is, is creating a certain stereotype for blind people. But yeah. almost everybody is going into teaching. It's because of the perception. Oh. Uh -huh. Because, let's say, when I go to the you know, office, oh. they will tell me, uh, you know, you can, we use computer here, we can, you cannot do anything. You oh. cannot, you know, this, this, this. So, you know, as a result, I have to go to field oh. where they will take me. Mm -hmm. As I'm talking now, we have people who have completed um, Legon, they didn't offer education. Then it means they won't get a job. Yeah, they are now they are now in the house. Wow. Mm. You know, they can do better. So what do we have to do as as a nation? Um, mm. What do we have to do? You know, because it's it's a difficult thing. Sure. Somebody goes through school, and um, some of us we struggle to mm. go through school, yes. and when we finish, we have to work and and make a living. An unfortunate thing is that for, um, in the university we all pay the same fees. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Mm. So, so how, how do we deal with this issue at all? Until we, we change our mind. Oh. Mm. Until we change our mind that we should give chance to everybody who can do it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. If we do that, we'll be able to you know, get better from, especially persons with disability, oh. more you know, precisely visually impaired. Mm -hmm. Once they are qualified, they should be given Yeah, they should be given an opportunity oh. to do the work. Amazing. Thank you so much, Atul. Um, we are going to cross over to Elom for a spot of music, and then we'll be right back with my very special guest, Uncle Atul. Welcome back to the Helping Hand TV show. Um, I still have my very special guest, Ankla, to here. Um, well, it's the freestyle segment. Um, the freestyle segment is the segment on the show where I allow my guests to do anything freestyle. Um, they could sing, they could dance, um, they could play an instrument, they could recite a poem, anything that my guests would want 
to go for Ankla too. Oh, wow. Freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> what will you do for me? Uh, okay, I can sing. Uh, great, <laughs> great, great. So let's go for that. Yes, um, yum, yum. Oh, you Yes, um, yum, yum. Oh, you Oh, oh, no, Madina yeti Bibia Ransu New Year Hey Oti Johnson in Faso Riti Mayen Enunti Yen Suroshi Hey Yesum Yamia Ayawa Weni Bibia Ransu Nuya Enti Ayawa Weni Ayawa Weni Eh Machin Kome Siyano We are now at the game segment. That was um, incredible for my guests. Um, we are at the game segment. Um, before I hit that, at, at, let me ask you, um, are you on your way to also be a very reverend? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> ah, wow. OK. <laughs> well, by all means, one day. But now I, I am doing an evangelism work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. At the beginning of the show, we gave every member of the audience a number. Um, my guest, um, Ankla Tu, is going to shuffle some balls and then choose a lucky number. Um, the member in the audience that has that number wins a free gift from DV Unlimited, Company Limited, our proud sponsors. So let the games begin. <laughs> All right, so Angela, so you shuffle the ball and then pick one lucky ah. number. <laughs> wow. A lot of people are depending on you. Should I pick one? Yes, pick one. You are going to make somebody happy and a lot of people sad. So the lucky number today is 21. <laughs> 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 All right. So come. You can come this way. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Today I have a very exciting audience. Yeah. Um, so we are not having the usual problems we have. Yeah. <laughs> However, every member of the audience is going to walk away with a free gift from the H4P yeah. organization. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody's a winner. <laughs> so thank you so much, um, my special guest, um, Ato Forsen. A pastoras, <laughs> Ato Forsen. A.K.A. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your life with us. It's been amazing. Yes. It's been inspiring. It's been motivational. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you to Wet Fire Generation Ministries. Um, they have been my studio audience for today. Wow. I'm so grateful. Wow. Um, my indefatigable crew, <laughs> thank you so much for making this possible. Wow. And thank you for watching The Helping Hand TV Show. With me, the voice of ability and for persons with disability. I'm going to come your way again next week. Until then, remember that disability it's is not, not inability. inability. God bless you.